there should be nothing inevitable about a second lockdown. It would be a sign of government failure, not an act of God. It would take an immense toll on people's physical and mental health and on the economy. We need a national effort to prevent a national lockdown. The Prime Minister has had months to prepare for this. But instead of getting a grip, the government lost control. Our testing system collapsed just when we needed it most. The British people want the government to succeed in fighting this virus. We all need the government to succeed. This is the time for leadership. And it makes me angry that just when this country needs leadership, we get serial incompetence. Six months in, a cabinet chosen on loyalty alone shows no signs of having learned any lessons from the crisis. If you neglect your public services, you won't be ready when a crisis hits. Nobody blames the government for the existence of the virus, but the underfunding of the NHS, the abandonment of social care, and the lack of investment in prevention, that's all on their watch. That's all down to them. And it always ends this way with Tory governments. Public services are neglected, cut back, and left to decline. For a party called the Conservative Party, they don't seem to conserve very much.